Hi guys, as you can tell, I'm ill. Not well at all. So I thought today I would do uh, something different, a house tour. I'm not sure if anyone's done it before, but I thought it was something different. I feel like I've swallowed razor blades in my throat and I'm so stuffy. So I hope you can understand what I'm saying. Anyway, let me get started. As you can see, my background, background, my garden in the background through the window. Anyway, let's get started. This is the living room. TV, cabinet, coffee table, my big cabinet. My Chinese bars with flowers in in the background. Armchair, a dash. Quite happy to sit there. This is the lamp I bought. I put it on my shopping haul. Really like it. I'll be smart box. Vita. Sofa. Yeah, I've got my laptop there. Puffy and my handbag, we'll put my feet on at night, dog bed, table, computer chair, electric fan, printer and dog toys and if I go back here you might have an idea of how long my living room is because I'm on the front of the house at the moment obviously inside leaning against the wall in my living room so it will give you an idea of how big my living room is it's actually 20 foot and I'll just show you this this is my uh, grandson when he was born there he is That was him when he was born. See, I'm now standing the other side of the living room. So you can see how big the room is. Right, now we're going into hallway. Front door. Now this is a downstairs toilet. But, there's Dash, his bed, that he likes to sleep on at night, obviously coats, dishwasher, and all my dishwashing stuff on top, yes there's a little bin, I haven't took it upstairs yet, toilet, and like I said, this has a toilet, where's it a bit, and a sink. I use this as, um, if you wonder what that is, it's cat litter. And my carpet sweeper. And my ironing board. But yeah, I use it as a storage, uh, like cupboard. I was lucky, the lady that lived here before me had a washing machine that she had plumbed in, so when I moved in, I put my dishwasher there and plumbed it in. No one uses it. No one uses the toilet. I've always put bleach in it every day, twice a day, but it's never been used. And then, in here, see? There's my back garden. Want some work doing on it. Or my rug on the line. Or slabs. More slabs. It is a good size lawn. This is out of my kitchen window, obviously. The back here is my chest freezer, which I had for me and my son. Don't mind Dash, he's just having to walk around. It was hard for when my son lived with me. 
But now I'm on my own. I thought, well, I'll keep it. It'll be handy because I have the three kids at Christmas so I can fill it up with goodies. And up here is my microwave. And if I shut this door... Sorry, you just see me reflection. I've got my dressing gown on and PJ, so... And I look rough. So I didn't want to show myself, really. You might have seen me reflection in the microwave. My fridge, then a big cupboard there. Then I have a cupboard. Yeah, that is a frying pan. Well, it's not an actual frying pan. It's a frying pan clock. It's unusual, so I bought it. Then from there, oh, excuse my tea towel, I just dumped it on there. All the way around kitchen unit, the pegs, gas boiler, and this I'm going to show you, if you don't see it, is a toilet roll holder. My uh, two kids bought at me as a I wanted to really like a farm animal theme in my kitchen. Obviously the washing machine. That's just stuff I brought down to throw. And then workspace all the way around. I have got the oven on, I'm doing chicken. There you go. There was more space than this, but obviously I've, uh, there's all more farm animals, you see. I'm about to put them up, up there. I had a big cabinet in this kitchen, but it took up too much space. And then there's the other ones. And then I'll take you outside as the dog is outside. And this is my garden. Recycle bucket. See, it's a good sized garden. I'm standing by the back door, so and as you can see, big trees. One of them came down when we had the last bad weather. A big branch hit my window. There's Dash walking around. Trying to film a house tour and my dog decides, oh I want to go the loop. He's a good boy though. The thing is if I go upstairs and see where the dog is, I need it to do a lot of work. Or my son does, I won't be. Where's he gone now? There he is. This is so exciting watching the dog outside. Show you some more once he's finished. Oh sorry, that's my mop handle. But yeah, that's my garden. Trampoline is next door. Like I said, once he's finished, I can, uh, come on then. Right. Let me go through my hall. There's my hoover, my wash and dry, cat litter tray, and up the stairs. And it will go dark, guys. I've got a light in the hall, and then the next light, up on the top of the stairs that is. You should have done one halfway because it is I'm doing this in daylight and you can see how dark it was. Then in here where Dash has come. If you wonder what that is, it's a mattress and my daughter already took the base. She didn't want the mattress so I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm going to find somewhere to put that dog kennel, which has never been used. 
Callum's little teddies and storybooks and his washing obviously on the radiator. This travel cot where he comes to stay with Nanny. I hate going in that room because it was my son's room and when he left, I'll even show you. He would took the lampshade. He took everything in this room. Every single thing. And like I said, it was a lampshade. But you can see how big this room is. The plan is to decorate it. And, uh, will be grand for when he comes. Then in here is the bathroom. Obviously a toilet and what I'm going to show you, because I had a comment from someone I tried to make out I was not disabled. Try not to laugh with this because my kids did. But when I'm really bad, I can barely move. I have a swimmer frame. See? And that goes around the toilet to help me. And then my bath seat. Then my towels. And my flannels. That duck is to keep Callum happy when he's there. Comes and has a bath. And there you go. All my toiletries. And then sink. And that mirror used to be my grand's. Then behind here, as you can see, like I said, someone made a comment and made it look like I wasn't disabled. These have come from the old thing at the hospital. One handrail, two handrails, two rails on the bath, and that I just don't worry, it is clean. Sit on it to get in the bath. I don't use the bath mu that much, I prefer to use my shower. There you go. I only showed you that because it, I shouldn't have to... Right, we'll go out the bathroom. This is not very interesting. Air and cupboard, which has... Uh, Three shelves on the bottom bit, then into my room, there's my bedroom window. Then I have one, two, three wardrobes, TV, dresser table. Dash, you're on my bed. No, the dog is not allowed on the bed. Dash, come here. And that's my bed. Yeah, personally, I had to take off this morning. So that's why I've got an odd one. Well, this is the bed my son bought me. And there, excuse a the dog, being crazy loon, is my bed rail to get in and out of bed. See, that's my bed. It's like velvety along the side and obviously the headboard. And these are bears of my, uh, I bought each of my kids one when they were born and I've had them ever since. Bedside cabinet, oh. Ironing, that won't be done yet because of me being ill. And if you just see it, that picture, and that picture was off my uh, daughter and son for Mother's Day. There's my lamp I bought. As I said, I like pink. And if you can see, there's my pink wall. So I do like pink so oh i'll just show you these i collect dolls see them all up there i do collect them so guys that is my house come on dash I just thought I'd do a quick video on a house tour. Oh, shut all the doors now. But this, you can see how dark it is. There's a, a landing window. My flowers are fake. I 
kind of real on that one there. Oh wait, no, that. That's something I uh, kept from, from when the kids are small. And then if you see, just about, a rail going all the way up to the right, one all the way down to the left. And then another one. They could put one by the window, obviously, because of the glass. So there, there you go. Child gate for my son. I just thought I'd do a house tour, something different. And then, while I'm at it, I will show you what I'm having for my tea with being ill. So it's going to be quick and simple. And I think... This is what you use, uh, Michelle. Mashed potato. I'm going to do that in the microwave. I'm not sure you can see this. Oh, look at them. I'm being greedy. Four chicken legs. And then under this one, Is my peas and my carrots. And I'm going to do Yorkshire puddings with them, roast potatoes and gravy. I'll give you one more look at Dash because I do have someone that did happen to say they wanted to see my dog. He's uh, seven now. He's a Jack Russell short hair sorry long hair but he's been groomed and he's got a scuba doo collar on i bought him for his birthday i know i spoil him treat him like kids so that's it guys and as you can see in my living room i do go slightly on board in the with pictures And they go all the way around here. So there you go. And I've got some of the other side. But I thought I'd just do a house tour today. A lot might find it very boring, but hi. It's my neighbour. Some find it, uh, as I said, very boring. I've got my window open. I don't know if I picked him up on it, but he was down by the fence, so he just gave me a wave and said hello. So yeah, there you go. See, I'm stood by the kitchen door, and that's only part of the kitchen. So it is. Oh, excuse me, posters. I got one on the back door and one on my living room door. But they have they do need to come down now really. So yeah, there you go guys. Anyway, I've gotta decorate the whole stairs a lad did. But I thought I'll just give you a quick house tour. Oh, I did miss out uh one room. I want to get blinds in the hall and blinds in the back room. Like I said, I've been here, what, 11, 12 years? I go. But this is my spare room, which I've done nothing with since my daughter moved out. Yeah, I just stuck my uh, grandson's uh, baby walker on the bed for today and their games. And then over here is Callum's Christmas presents. And then there, I think there's about seven or eight for my eldest son. Then you go down, all them, and then the big one is for my son. And then that pile there is my daughter's. One is my son's birthday present. But like I said, this room needs sorted out. I mean, we've got even clothes piled up. Come on then, on the floor. Oh, and this, I know she's black. 
and bits of white, but she is 14 years old. That's my cat. I haven't got clothes on my floor in the spare room because, like I said, I give furniture to my son and my daughter when they moved out. There's nothing wrong with it, so I thought it will help them. See what I mean? I had a new fuse box put in and they decided to move it higher. So I thought, well, I'm not decorating until that was done, so now I've got to decorate. It is a bad need of it. The rest of the place is all right. And like I said, the one room I've got to sort out for my grandson and then the other room will just be a spare room. But yeah, there you go, guys. I hope you're all okay. I will go on the Reese family Reese live tonight. I might not be on longer or I'll see how I feel. Anyway guys, that's it. I'm gonna go finish off my tea. And again, thank you for all those that have subscribed and all my nice comments that I receive. So take care. Bye.